All right, so let's talk about using Microsoft Office um, on your Z series panel. Now you can see that I've actually got uh, the OPS, uh, the, the built-in Windows PC on the screen. Um, I'm going to pull up a PowerPoint slide deck here in a second, and we're going to take a look at, uh, at how that works. Because one of the wonderful things about Microsoft Office is that annotation tools are actually already built in to those programs. So if we're talking Word, Excel, PowerPoint, the big three as I like to call them, for fun I'll even throw OneNote in there. Uh, you already have access to annotation tools that the panel can use very, very nicely. Uh, along with that, we're also going to take a look at this thing called object recognition uh, that makes using those tools uh, even better. So let's take a look at what that, what all of that entails. I'm going to fire up PowerPoint right here. Got a nice boring slide deck on the screen. And here you can see I'm in edit mode. Now there are two rules for this in order to make all of this happen. The first rule is that you want to be using the desktop apps, not the web apps. Okay, so that's the first rule is you be, be using the desktop apps and that will get you access to tools. But the second rule then is you have to be logged in to your Office account and that will effectively uh, give you access to what you need. So if we go to our menu bar at the top here, File, Home, Insert, oh, Draw. Okay, yeah, I think you can probably figure out what happens from here, right? And so you can select a writing tool, hit it one more time, it brings up a menu, you can make that writing tool be whatever you want it to be, right? So nice and simple. Now, the good news is, you don't even really have to do that. If you're happy with the last writing tool that you used, the moment you fire up whatever Office program, whether again, one of the big three that you're using, uh, you can just start going right into it and start writing on your content. And here's how we make that work. So I'm gonna head back home, okay? And let's pretend that I just got here, all right? So I've got some content on the screen and the next thing I wanna do is I wanna grab my stylus. And the reason for that is because now object recognition is in play. And the panel is capable of differentiating between a thin-tipped thing, like my stylus, and a thicker thing, such as my finger, okay? And Office, of course, supports all this as well. So really, it's very simple. Take my stylus, thin means right. Draw a diagram, whatever. Thick means select and move. That's pretty cool, right? And then in the world of Microsoft stuff, the easiest way to erase is palm. That's the easiest way to erase, okay? So object recognition makes the tools that are built into Office even nicer to use. So that's really convenient. Now, here in the case of PowerPoint, I'm in edit mode, right? So again, as I said, for Word and Excel, it would work the same way that I just showed you. But PowerPoint's a presentation program. So if I run the slide deck, does it work the same way? Well, first of all, you can take your finger and swipe through your slides, right? Left means go forward. Swipe right, that means go backwards, all right? And then once again, yep, thin means right. No glitter pens, unfortunately, in presentation mode. They need to fix that, but whatever. We can work with that. So thin means right, and then thick means, oh, well, this is interesting. Now, notice what's happening here. As I lay ink on our content, yeah, and I move through my slides, what happens is the ink actually, it moves, right? It's sticking. It actually sticks to the pages. And that's another benefit of using the tools baked into Office is because not only do you have, well, easy access to tools and that object recognition piece, but the ink will stick. So you can roll right through your content and the ink will move along with you. You don't have to erase anything to move on to the next thing. And once I'm done, I'm gonna do a touch and hold right here. I've got a button here to end the slideshow right there at the, at the bottom. It's gonna ask me, hey, do you wanna keep those? And I give it a keep, and then yes, now those things can be part of my PowerPoint slide deck if I choose to save them, because I can still, I can make a choice here. If I change my mind and decide, no, you know what, I don't actually want those, I'm gonna go ahead and just X out of here, say don't save, and then boom, and then and the, and the copy of that slide deck then remains clean, uh, and I can go right back in anytime I want. So using Microsoft Office, on an X series, again, I'm just doing it on the computer the way we always do it. But now we have the benefit of having access not only to annotation tools uh, that are very easy to use in those programs, but object recognition and the fact that the ink sticks to content makes those things even more convenient to use.